At least 300,000 New Yorkers live in basement apartments, many of which are illegal. Tonight, a growing memorial here at the scene of one tragedy. A family of three all died in their basement apartment because of the flash flooding from Ida. Our brother were come from the same town from Nepal. Uh, He's been here like more than 10 years, and we really feel bad. The Sherpa Nepalese community of Queens is grieving tonight the loss of Ang Jelu Lama, his wife and 14-month-old son who died in this basement apartment on 64th Street in Woodside. The people who reside in basement apartments are poor, are people of color, many are undocumented. They're the most vulnerable New Yorkers. 11 of the 13 New Yorkers who died in the Ida flash floods lived in basement apartments in Queens, and the City Department of Buildings confirms that five of the six basement apartments were illegal. The city's building commissioner said, Our team is tirelessly conducting inspections at over a thousand properties across the five boroughs in the aftermath of Wednesday's storm, and will continue doing everything we can to keep New Yorkers safe in their residences. The city has done nothing to support homeowners to retrofit or upgrade their apartments to meet the safety codes. What, the, what the city has done instead is penalize homeowners for having an, an quote unquote illegal basement with enormous fines. So what that, that's done is it's driven basement apartments further into the shadows. Because of climate change, Mayor de Blasio today announced a 30-day task force to tackle the question of flash flooding and particularly how it affects basement apartments. We've been shown now a threat that is very different than anything we've known before in terms of the danger of this kind of sudden massive flooding. Queens Borough President Donovan Richards, who grew up in basement apartments, said there's a more workable long-term solution. What can be done about it is the, the production of real affordable housing in New York City. And Attorney General Letitia James is calling on the city to provide emergency vouchers to families who are living in basement apartments when they need to evacuate quickly because of flash flooding. We are live in Woodside, Queens. McGee Hickey, PIX11 News.